Sweden's Arctic region. For thousands of years, the indigenous Sami people have been herding reindeer on this land. For a very long time, this part of the land was for the Sami people, and they was living here, they was fishing, they was hunting, so in one way, this area belongs to the Sami. But non-indigenous Swedish hunters see things differently. In general, it is the state which owns the land and which should regulate hunting and fishing. That should be accepted as a matter of course by everyone who lives here and pays taxes in Sweden. A long simmering conflict over hunting has reached boiling point. The disputed question, who owns the land of the reindeer? it's a very special day. It's September, and every September it's time for the Sami to gather together their reindeer in the mountains. Ilva is a member of the Sami people, and her family also owns a herd of reindeer. She's never missed this autumn spectacle. The photographer wants to record the event. She sees it as a way of conveying the Sami way of life to others. The reindeer herders' corral is located in remote mountainous territory. Over the last few days, the Sami have herded together thousands of reindeer using motorbikes, quad bikes and helicopters. The first half of the day, we look if we have any more calves who has missing the mark in the ears. Uh, so we finished the marking of the calves for this season. It's the last chance, it's the last time. Then we are uh, starting to see and choose which animal should going to be slaughtered. Then it's time to let the rest of the herd go out for free again in the mountain. So we open the gate and they are running out on the mountain again. That is a really good feeling when you can see them running out in the nature where they belong. The Sami herders have prohibited hunting in the area during the corralling period. To the anger of hunters whose season has just begun. We have a big area, so the hunter not need to be right here in this uh, square kilometers. I want them to listen and try to, to understand, not just uh, saying that we are closing the mountain for everybody. No, we don't do that. Uh, we want to live together side by side, but uh, we need uh, to do it in a way which is the best for the reindeer. And those who know what's best for the reindeer is the reindeer herder. Joachim Algreen thinks that prohibiting access to so much land to protect the reindeer is over the top. He's just got back home from his job working for the local authorities in Kuruna. Time to go hunting. For him, that's what life is all about. It's a passion he inherited from his father. I hunt whenever I can. Four to five days a week between August 25th and March 15th when hunting is permitted. During that time, I'm continually outdoors and I hunt an awful lot. When I'm not hunting, I'm outside training the dogs. That's my lifestyle. So 
Oh. Joachim shares his apartment with his four dogs. They're his pride and joy. He bred them and trained them to hunt. They've won several awards in competition. I live with my dogs like you would a family. We live in close proximity. I take them everywhere. We train together, we hunt together, and we fish together. We sleep together in a tent, fly in a helicopter or travel by boat to my hunting cabin. We share everything. They join me on all my trips. I can't imagine better company. Today, Joachim is going bird hunting with his dogs Tara and Tindra. Many of his favorite hunting grounds are off limits because of the reindeer. That's why he has to travel far to pursue his hobby. I fear that at some point I won't be able to find any more good hunting grounds. My biggest fear is not being able to get out into nature anymore. The outdoors is why I live here. After just under an hour's drive, Joachim has arrived at his destination. He fits GPS devices to his dogs so that he can locate them in the rough terrain. We have to pay the same price for the hunting permit as last year, but we're not allowed to hunt in Gyrgyz anymore. Come on. Go back. Gyrgyz is one of 51 Sami communities in Sweden and approximately six times as big as Berlin. Since 2020, the Sami community here has been in charge of conferring all of the small game hunting and fishing rights, and not the regional authorities. Some fear this pioneering development could set a dangerous precedent that other Sami communities will follow. For Sami activist Mati Blindberg, it's a victory in a years-long battle. Currently, he's the chairman of the Gia Sami community, He's been the proud owner of riding stables for 20 years. So, now we go riding. The Sami, the indigenous people in northern Scandinavia, wanted to decide who was allowed to hunt and fish on their ancestral lands and when. Marty Blindberg was locked in a legal battle with the Swedish state for a decade. And in 2020, Sweden's Supreme Court ruled in his favour. Morally, we have the right. My, my relatives been have ever. We have hunted and we used this ground forever. We fished forever, we have reindeers, we have, yeah, take the bed, we've always been here. So how could uh, people in Stockholm decide that everybody could come hunt here? When I go out hunting, I see tracks from human, from my ancestors. I talk to them when I go there. Like his forebears, Marty Blindberg is also a reindeer herder and hunter, and he offers tours on Icelandic horses to visitors to the area. In his opinion, the Swedish state expropriated the Sami people's ancestral lands over the last few centuries. We never said, no, there's no it's enough, it's enough. We had never stand up for our rights. And when we do, they become a hell of a situation. But the court ruling has sparked anger, and the Sami have been threatened in public. There was a radio program the other week, and there was a guy from the Hunter Association. He really threatened people. He says that if, if there are more Sami villages coming after Kyrgyz, it's going to be violence and blood on the street. So he said it in the radio, in national radio. The atmosphere here is heated. Hunter Joachim Algren feels directly threatened by the ruling in favor of the Sami. Because it doesn't only give the Giria Sami community the right to determine who is allowed to hunt in the area, it also allows them to decide how many hunters are allowed on the land and when. I fear that there could be more and more regulation of hunting in the future. 
Giryas has decided to close the majority of its territories until September 15th. Last year, the winter arrived on September 30th, along with half a meter of snow, and put a stop to hunting. It's getting worse and worse. I hope that things don't continue to develop like this, but I fear they will. The reindeer herders say they want to keep hunting dogs like Joachim's away from their animals. That makes Joachim see red. He says he avoids reindeer herds, but occasionally inquisitive reindeer approach him. My dogs are trained not to chase reindeer, and when I see reindeer, I back off. No problem. I have always done my best to act responsibly in nature. I always try to do what I can to help ensure that we all get along together and don't drift apart. Joachim and his dogs are on the lookout for ptarmigan. No traits of any so far. I train my dogs to wait when they find a bird. They're not allowed to chase the bird when it takes flight. They have to stand still and come when I call. I practice that regularly with them. I invest two to three thousand hours in each dog. And on top of that, we do a lot of stamina training. Tara has caught a scent of something, a marked spot for Joachim. I missed it. My shot just missed. The bird disappeared in the undergrowth behind the birches. I only saw it for a few seconds. Tara, come. Joachim isn't too concerned. During his last weekend tour, he saw only six ptarmigan in 30 hours. For him, it's a way of relaxing. In Joachim's opinion, being able to roam freely outdoors is not just important to the Sami people and their way of life. We are Swedes. We live in Sweden and we pay taxes in Sweden. The state owns the land and we are the state. It is important for us to coexist and that we are not miserly but generous. There's enough space for everyone if we are considerate and respect one another. Joachim Almgren doesn't want to give up the hunt yet and sets off in search of further ptarmigan. Up to 12,000 reindeer graze in the Sami district of Giryas. The Sami have possessed the land use rights since 1886, but officially large parts of Swedish Lapland belong to the state. Next of the grazing area lies the village of Nikolukta. Ilva Sari grew up here. Her ancestors were Sami nomads. Nikolukta was named after her grandfather. My grandfather and grandmother was following the reindeer in the area. So this, they passed this place, Nikolokta, when they're going east for the winter time, and then it's passed again when they're going west in the summertime. So uh, in the beginning of 1900, there was some bad years for the reindeers, so a couple of families decided to be a little more stationary. And uh, one of these fam five families who decided to settle down was my grandfather and grandmother. Ilva Sari belongs to one of the 20 families in Girias which still own reindeer. In her work as a photographer, she documents the traditional way of life of her community. Only some 5,000 of the Sami in Sweden, there are up to 40,000 in total, still live like Ilva and her family. Some of the Sami people are not anymore feeling as Sami because uh, they are living in a situation so they are totally in, in close to the majority society. But for me it's important. And I, I am a part of the Sami society 
even if I'm living in Sweden and also have a part of me is a Swedish identity, but when anybody asks me, then I am a Sami. Many non-Indigenous Swedes think that the Sami land claims are excessive. Ilva is well aware of that. I think it's difficult for people to understand what we are talking about. When we are talking about we need the area for the reindeer, we are close to the nature. Yes, there is still a lot of nature, but we need a big part of it so the reindeer can be all over the year. And then we got questions, why are your reindeer on the roads? Why are your reindeer on the railroads? And, and uh, the opposite is, why are you making this road and railroad and crossing where the reindeer has walked for thousands of years? What is now the town of Kuruna used to be grazing land for reindeer, watched over by Sami herders. Sweden's northernmost town was founded in 1900. Miners moved here from southern Sweden in search of work, displacing the indigenous people and their reindeer. Nowadays, the majority of the town's 23,000 inhabitants are non-indigenous Swedes, including Mayor Gunnar Zellberg. He finds it perplexing that Sami now have the right to award hunting licenses. It would be very strange if you have more rights if you have been here a longer time. How should we, ha how should we handle people who are coming in now and moving to Sweden from the problem areas around in the world? Should we say that I have some rights, but they don't have? You know, we, we, it's very important from a democratic view that we have to get the same rights. I think the problem is that people in Stockholm, they, they have the romantic pictures of, the, of the, the Sami people. Oh, it's the original people with the lasso, with the traditional clothes, and walking with the reindeers and taking care of them. But, but it, it, it's not true. You know, the, the, the Sami, 90% of the Sami don't have more rights than I have. And, and it's just a small part of the Sami who are reindeer owners. The 2020 court ruling gives the reindeer herder families the right to grant hunting licenses. And in Girias, there are just 20 of them. The day after the animals are corralled together in the mountains is slaughter day. Ilva Sari is also present with her camera. The reindeer that were designated for sale have already been sent off to the abattoir. The members of the Sami community carve up the remainder for their own private consumption. Ilva spots an old friend. How are things? Good. We have begun slaughtering the animals. That's great. Fresh meat at last. The reward? Yes, the reward after a hard winter. Per Swani is a reindeer herder from a neighbouring Sami settlement. He slaughtered two of his animals, which had gotten mixed up with the reindeer of the curious Sami. His father taught him the job. And uh, today I have... Uh, between generations. So it's my father, my sons, so I'm, I'm in the middle, so I'm helping everyone to, to slaughter in this. Even though a hunter has never gotten his way, he believes that it's necessary to make many areas off limits. You can look at our place up here, it's a working place when we don't want people to be there because it's dangerous or disturbing 
the work what we are doing, then we shut it down. Like an ordinary industry, we need to work with the reindeer because we need the meat. But the, most of the people who are up here, they are uh, they're doing it for pleasure. That's the difference. So if you compare pleasure things against work things, quite easy for me. The opposing side is also concerned about jobs. Swedish Lapland is the country's most popular inland tourist destination. Turnover from tourism has almost doubled in the last 10 years, also because of the hunting possibilities. Mayor Gunnar Selberg wants to expand tourism here further. He himself is the founder of a tour operator business. But now the Giria Sami community have decided that in the future only hunters from the region will be allowed to hunt on their ancestral land. The worst case scenario would be if, if other Sami village, Sami Buyar, get the same rights as, as Giria's and they will close down area after area after area for the local people and also for the tourists, for the tourist companies. We need people who are working with tourism and, and taking care of them out in the wilderness for hunting and fishing and so on. Two days later and reindeer head a pair Swanee is still processing the reindeer meat. After it's hung for a while, he has to carve it into smaller cuts. Like most reindeer herders, he can no longer live from the sale of his animals. He has another job as a welder. Like almost all reindeer herders, he thinks that the Swedish state has been colonizing the land for centuries. When I was young, we didn't have so much mines, power plants, roads, and other people who were out in the forest. And now there's new mines every day showing up. So nowadays our family, we cannot hold that big herd because we don't have the space enough because we have a really big mine in our place where we stay in the winters. So I think we have lost about 90% of the area for our family. Not for my sake, I'm not so worried, but for my children's sake. If they're going to work with the reindeers, where are they going to stay? As well as creating a huge iron ore mine in Corona, the Swedish state has been developing the land for centuries, building roads, electricity pylons, wind turbines and ski lifts for tourists. All salt in the wounds for reindeer herders like Per Swani. Per says that Sami don't talk about how big their herds are. It's like asking him what he has in his bank account. He gets approximately 500 euros when he sells a large animal to a slaughterhouse. The sale of one creature means he can afford to keep 20 others. The improved infrastructure is attracting more and more people to the far north of Sweden. It's only the last 10, 15 years. Before that, have never been trouble in this way, what is now. Because now everyone can go buy a quad bike. Everyone can buy a snowmobile. And um, everyone think they have the right to uh, to to build a house, to fix things up there in the mountain. Uh, that's what uh, I get a little bit upset of, of it, that when they say we have also rights. But no, you only, you only have been here for so short time. It's not only the hunters, it's not only mines, it's not only cities, it's not only tourist companies, it's everything together. Because the society are pushing us from all the directions and, and soon we don't know in what direction, what, where we can go to be free.
Close by, two other men have met for a drink. They also feel that their liberties are being curbed. Hunters Joachim Almgren and his friend Adam Johansson. Adam's family has been living in the Arctic region for generations. He shares his friend's fears. We had complete freedom. We could go anywhere and we had numerous fantastic possibilities of being in the outdoors. And I would like my son to have exactly these same opportunities. So they can really get to know life in the mountains. The two men are concerned that it might no longer be possible to live peacefully side by side. A small proportion of the Sami population now have all the rights, and we have to try to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We can only hope that the politicians finally assume responsibility and see the big picture. At the moment, we here in the north feel neglected. That's the big problem. Ilvasari is motivated by a concern that goes beyond anything related to hunting rights. She doesn't want the indigenous people's way of life to be lost. She's sewing a traditional costume for her young grandchild, Aaron. She speaks Sami to him a language that was long suppressed in Sweden. Ilva had to teach herself. Sami was only recognised as a minority language in 2000, and these days it's offered as a subject in school. Yes. It is a part of our culture, and still a big part of the Sami people speak Sami. So when you don't understand what the people speaking to each other uh, you feel there is something missing in your heart and in, in your culture, in your identity. She hopes that other Swedes will also finally start taking more of an interest in Sami identity. Leave him to... They don't know that we have our own culture, our own clothes, and that we are the indigenous people in Sweden. So... Even if uh, there is a decision that you should learn more about the Sami people in schools, it, uh, it's not working that good right now. So I hope it will be better. And it can only be better if uh, the government make decisions for that. The dispute over Swedish Lapland's mountains and forests is just the latest manifestation of a centuries-long conflict in the country's far north between the Sami people and non-indigenous Swedes.